and or college employees not authorized by the college has been requested to disband by the president or other designated officer. Those refusing to comply will be subject to immediate suspension and or dismissal from legal action. Secondly, in the event that an assembly appears to be a demonstration related to grievances, those present should be advised that orderly procedures for the hearing of grievances are available and must be adhered to. College officials will not negotiate with such groups under conditions of duress, such as unauthorized occupation of any college property. Thirdly, any unauthorized occupation of buildings and or college property constitutes reason for immediate suspension and or dismissal from the institution of students or college employees who may be involved. Furthermore, legal action will be brought against any student or employee involved in such acts on community college property if they are prohibited by law.